welcome b uh, back to our Monday Night Raw recap. Yes. Well, basically, it's, it's Tuesday in the af uh, Tuesday in the e in the afternoon now. Yeah. So it'll be soon to be SmackDown. Right. <clears throat> so let's see. What are we? What what, what happened? What started Raw? Off? We have Ronda Rousey just wham 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 mm -hmm. because this is leading into a mat. The first match or. Does it really even count as a match? It's a beat the clock challenge. Yeah, well, she was like... First she was like, I have nothing to say. Oh, I have something to say. Okay, that's it. And no, I have another thing to say. And then she's like, this beat the clock challenge sounds like another stupid gimmick thing. But well, let's just get it over with. Which is basically... It is because there's no point. Because all, all it is is another thing to hype it up. But here's the thing. The, it, this, the Ronda Rousey, Charlotte, and Becky Lynch thing is the main event for WrestleMania. And the one thing that I worry about is, is not because it's a women's match, because I, I really do support it. The one thing I want it to do is I want it to succeed. I don't want it to be just this bland, just, oh, dr uh, just dragged out thing that they're overhyping and it's over in two minutes. No, I want it to go all out. I want it to actually be amazing. I want it to be memorable, like the Daniel Br uh, Daniel Bryan winning the world heavy the world championship. Good. I want to see Ronda Rousey beat the living shit out of both Charlotte and Becky. I want Becky to, if Becky's gonna win, I want her to come out. All bloody, fa bloody face, broken nose, and just beat the crap out of, out of it. Just go all out. Just make this, like, memorable. Yeah. But before the match, Becky came out. She was just saying about this movie tied over her head, skull under her foot. And Charlotte comes out, and she said, yes, woman is the main event because it's what she's done, handpicked. And then... Yes. Ronda's um, beat the clock challenge match started. So all three members... So all three... Women have to face each of the Riot Squad members, so Ron, so Ronda has to fight Sarah Logan first. Yeah, and her beat the clock challenge was one minute and twenty five seconds. So she made Sarah tap in one minute and twenty five seconds. So, and then that led to the next one, which was Charlotte versus Ruby Riot. But Charlotte wasn't able to beat it. She she did the um what was it her figure four leg lock move? Yeah. And she just wouldn't tap. And, yeah. She had, like, the last, like, six seconds, and Ruby didn't tap. She's like, nope, I'm not tapping. But here, Becky fighting Liv Morgan put uh, Liv in the disarmor with seven seconds to spare. No, she put, pinned her with this, like, move. Oh, wait. I thought she no. made her tap. No. Oh, so she um, pinned her. Yeah, like, it's this pin, like, she like she slammed her and, like, pinned her. In like just seven seconds, and so basically Becky beat Ronda's t uh, t uh, t uh, thing. Yeah. Now. So yeah, that's kind of like they're overhyping this. Yeah, you know, yeah, we all we all knew Becky. If Charlotte didn't win, we knew Becky was gonna do it. But here's the thing. That's the that's the thing. They're hyping this up, and there's only like what two more weeks left. Yeah. So, what is there left? For them to all to hype it up, they they hype it up, and what happens? WrestleMania happens, and it just ends up being a boring match. That's the one thing that's going to be weird. Cause look, it's the main event, and not only that, it's a though it's the women's thing. They're saying it's the the first ever women's main event at a WrestleMania. So this is a big this is a big 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 um weight on their shoulder, their burden on their shoulders because. One, if they screw it up and, and the, the fans start chanting, this is boring, then all of this, the evolution thing, is just gone to crap. Yeah. Well, the next match was um, uh, an opportunity for Finn Balor. Um, it was a two-on-one handicap match. It was supposed to be Bobby Lashley and Leo Rush, but... Leo Rush just says, after their match with uh their tag match with finn and Strowman, leo can't compete he's not medically cleared so to replace leo they have ginger mahal yeah but finn made um 
the coup de gras on the hall. Oh yeah. For the so, win. So he gets a WrestleMania. So he gets to fight Bobby for the title at WrestleMania. Yeah. And Bobby was not happy. He attacked the Singh brothers and speared Jinder. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I guess it was just a lot Elias. He was in Times Square. He kept showing up. Like a few times. Yeah. Like the first thing he was actually in Times Square and he was trying to play and then he saw some other street performer outplay him and he's upset. And then and now it's a tag team match. No, but before we went to commercial, it was Alistair Black Alistair Black showed up and he's walking into the ring and then they cut to commercial and we all I didn't even know it was actually a commercial. I thought it was an actual, like, thing, because... It wasn't that match. No, it was. It was. No, it's the Baron Corbin. It was not Baron Corbin. Yeah. It was the Aleister Black. No. I mean it. It was, it was Baron Corbin. Because there, no, there was no Baron Corbin. Yeah, there was. First ball of Cruz. Are you sure? Yep. Because I thought it was. Because no. either way... Either way... No, 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 no. Aleister Black and Ricochet... First, the revival. Yeah, but. And they did, of course, they did a black mask, and Ricochet did a 630 for the win. So. All right, and here's the Drew McIntyre little promo. All right, we'll 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 just cut it short. McIntyre is ta uh, is taunting Roman, saying, "I know Roman Reigns want." Uh, is ready for a fight at WrestleMania, but I'm talking to Joe, the man who's got wife and kids. You just beat cancer. Are you ready to put them through hell, another hell, watching them get have their daddy get beat? Roman shows up, steps in the ring, and is like, Roman's ready, but this is not coming from Roman. Don't ever talk about my kids again. And he beat him up, and then... McIntyre low blows Roman Reigns. Again, and then did a Claymore kick. Yeah. And then there was backstage with Dean and Drew, and Dean's just pretty much saying he wants a last man standing because he called him a cockroach, and it's he. You didn't, didn't feel exterminated. <laughs> so that ends up being the mat the match tonight. Well, spoiler alert for it: Dean loses. Yeah, spoiler for that match already. I'll tell you, Dean did. A hell of a job, but he lost. Joe ended up winning and making him not be able to stand and lose. Yeah, are he they did. are they punishing Dean because he's gonna because once once WrestleMania what when the um his con the con their contracts expire when the the um superstar um after WrestleMania right the shakeup happens. So mm -hmm. Dean's leaving. To some other company, so basically what they're doing is they're just just shitting all over Dean. He's all hyped up and stuff for his matches, and then they they fucking make him lose. Yeah, this feels like one of those like those seedy boxing matches where it's like, all right, we'll place it. You know, listen, everybody's gonna place the bet on this one guy on this one guy, all the odds to win. So what happens? Middle of the third round, you take a dive, but you make it look good. There you go. That's that's Dean. Yeah. He lost by getting put in a table and with the climber kick. Yeah. Then we have Natalia with um Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix on the side. Sasha Banks for Sasha Banks. And up being a DQ because Tamina showed up and yeah. attacked Sasha. Yeah. But I don't know about Phoenix and Natalia stand tall because Beth Phoenix did the glam slam to Tamina. Well, she beat up both Tamina and Nia Jax. And then when uh, Sasha Banks is going to grab her tag team titles, we see Beth Phoenix just step on the title. So there, so... So it's probably going to be a fatal four-way for WrestleMania. It's probably going to be Sasha and Bailey, Nia Jax and Tamina, <laughs> Beth and Natty, and probably the Iconics. Oh, that... For WrestleMania. Yeah. Probably. Who do you think's gonna win? Oh wait! During that, we find out that the heart, the the heart foundation yeah, heart is foundation. going into the Hall of Fame, and Natty's very happy with that, which is really good. Yeah. All right, now we get to the Baron Corbin. There, races. now you can say what you were saying. All right, Baron Corbin's coming out, and then we didn't think it cut to commercial. We had no idea, and 
I, we just hear Bob, we hear Bobby Roode's music go, and we see Chad Gable just doing the Bobby, the, doing the glorious pose, and then we see Bobby, Bobby Roode just run, and he trips, and then he's like off key with the, um, the, with the music and the poses, and That's just, funny. and we find out it's a Snickers commercial. Yeah. That is the biggest, biggest fun, like the, the most hypest thing ever. For a commercial. Yeah. But anyway, Baron Corbin actually went against Paulo Cruz. He won with the ends of days. Yeah, and the funny thing is... The, the thing is... All these times... I think what's going to happen is... Baron Corbin is just beating everybody that Kurt Angle's fighting in his farewell tool. Tour? Why did I say tool? <laughs> He's doing this because... They're hyping up the final, the Kurt Angle final match. And now, let's see. Seth Rollins, he just pretty much talked A promo. About, yeah, he was just talking about Lesnar and WrestleMania. We, I need the fans. Give me your energy so we can defeat Brock Lesnar. And Paul Heyman's going, no, it ain't gonna happen. That was funny when Seth was walking up. <laughs> yeah, Paul, Paul Heyman's floor. slowly walking back. Oh, slowly walking back. Rollins is right behind him. <laughs> Heyman falls on the floor going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hope you win. I hope you yeah. win. I hope you win. Yeah. I'm sorry. And he drops the mic on top of um Paul Heyman, so probably Paul Heyman knocked the tooth or something. Yeah. Alright, now is um another match, and it's Kurt Angle uh, uh, fighting Samoa Joe. Yeah. So he's fighting people who he wants to fight for, for um before his... um. Farewell match because next Monday he's fighting Rey Mysterio. The big surprise, um, Triangle One. He just he um pinned him. Yeah. He no, did. this is what happened. Joe is doing his submission hold, the the choking out Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle falls backwards, and Joe's uh, shoulders hit the mat. So basically, as Joe is um choking him out, the ref counts as a pin. Okay, this is a little confusing because usually doesn't Joe choke everybody out on the mat? So if that happens, shouldn't everybody win? Yeah, well, you know. Makes no sense! Watch, he's going against Rey Mysterio next Raw. And well, he's going that's... against, um, who was the other one? What? I forgot who he's going against at on Smack tonight on SmackDown. AJ Styles. Oh, yeah, he's a Watson B. AJ Styles. <laughs> Did you really forget that? Um, oh my god, you're supposed to be the biggest wrestling fan, but and you watch. can't remember! But watch. See? Like I called it, like I called it, people, Dean leaves, she's gonna drift away from it. Yeah, okay. But, but anyway, you'll, still play, you'll still play Supercard. But, um... Here's the main event. Well, oh, we already well, called it. We already said the main event was Dean Ambrose versus Drew McIntyre in the last main standing. We told you that Dean did his best, but he still lost against him. Should we skip Dean Ambrose's, like, all his matches? No. We should, because it's all going to end up the same way. Spoilers but, to everybody, Dean's losing No, he won a couple matches. No, he did not recently. Okay. He has not won ever since we find out that he's um, leaving WWE. He has I'm been nonstop sure he won losing. Once. No, he's on a nonstop losing streak. He, he, he's going down. They okay. want. Well, anyway. Anyway, there was a Triple H. He's pretty much. Batista wants Triple H to put his career on the line. Oh, it was funny. Triple H is the king of promos. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I got Dave Batista's manager. And he's saying, I'm obsessed. Well, you know what? No, I could give two craps about Batista. Because you know why? Because Batista, because Batista, you were always uh, a tool. And whenever nothing went your way, you quit. Yeah. That was just funny. And the last time you tried it, you wanted to get back in WWE, you wanted us to push the date, uh, push back the date for WrestleMania because you're filming Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> you say you didn't have no good career. Yeah, you're popular Drax. Is not, uh, you're, you're more popular being Drax. Yeah. And then there was a moment of bliss with Braun Strowman. And there was uh, two top... So. Yeah, those two guys from Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Here's the thing. Alexa Bliss made it official. Both of those guys are going to be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royale. So... Yeah. So... 
Braun Strowman's gonna get these hands. And here's the thing. We just figured out why Strowman ain't getting no title opportunities. Yeah. Because he's, he's not that good at promos. But then again, you have Brock Lesnar who don't talk at all. He just has Mr. Walrus over there talking for him. So this is hypocrisy. That's WWE. That is the hypocrisy. WWE for you. So. Hip, hip, hop, hypocrite. Well. Hip hop, hypocrite. Oh well. I'd rather watch NXT. I don't know that's tomorrow. Mm. NXT tomorrow tonight. SmackDown. Guess who's for SmackDown tonight? And then tomorrow NXT. Oh, also tonight's Two Five Live. But ah, uh, you don't watch yeah. that. <laughs> and if anybody hasn't figured it out or knows yet, Nikki Bella already retired. Yeah, the Bell Twins are um. Okay, here's retired. the thing. Okay, here's the thing. They put. They only say it on their Twitter and stuff, but yet, don't doesn't every superstar, whether it was Daniel Bryan, or all those people, the Edge, everyone, even Kurt Angle himself, goes up to either SmackDown or Raw, and just tell the fans we're retiring, so that the fans could give them the standing ovation and then the praise and stuff, and at least go out like that instead of just doing the Twitter. But then again, it could be like, oh, they're too busy or whatever. But still, you owe it to your fans to go uh, to go be on TV one last time and just thank them personally. Yeah. So. The, you're you're looking at all the little the little Bellas, the little the, your Bella army, and they and you have to look them in the eye and tell them. Thank you for your support and your love and all that stuff. Even though we're not going to be on wrestling anymore, we still think about you and still support us. Yeah. Well, that was it for Monday Night Raw, really. Nothing else. That's what we said. That's really what was on Monday Night Raw. What did you thought about it when you seen it? What the Snickers your... commercial was the only yeah, good part of it. Yeah, that was the funniest part was the Snickers commercial. It felt like it was an actual thing. Like, it yeah. really did. Like... You could put that anywhere in any of the wrestling things if they're gonna like show up and you and they don't say what the match is, and you just put that in. That hypes it up. Yeah. So, well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.